All right, today I'm gonna share with you the best settings in uh, Lumix G7 if you wanna use it for like color grading. Um, you wanna have like a nice low contrast, low saturation, very flat profile. I think is the best you actually can get in the in this camera. Also, you can use it in the GH4 and um, the new released uh, Panasonic G8, GX85. I think you're gonna love this um, profile, if, especially if you use a uh, lot for color grading, I think. I have tried everything. I've been having this camera now for around 10 months. I'm getting closer to one year of owning this camera, so I have tried different settings and different things, so without going into, into much details and rambling about it I want to go and show you exactly what I use and show you some samples as well let's do it okay here we are I'm gonna try to be quick and go straight to the point in this we're gonna go all the way down we want to make sure that I dynamic is off High resolution is off, distraction compensation is off, the luminance level, the best option for us in G7 is 16255, X teleconverter is off, digital zoom is off, wind cut is off. What we did there, turning all the stuff off, is making sure that Panasonic is not doing any processing, any color, any image processing or anything for us. We want to have fully control of that, okay? Photo style, the best for, in my own opinion, in my test, is natural. You're gonna go, you're gonna select natural, go down, make sure the contrast is all the way down to minus five, sharpness all the way down to minus five, noise reduction all the way to minus five and um, also saturation all the way down saturation and contrast we can bring that up again on the um, our software in post processing noise reduction and sharpness we don't need that it's, it's, it's just something that these cameras, the Lumix cameras, have so much of it, we don't need it at all. And we can also do some noise reduction and post-production as well. So that's basically my main setting that I love in this camera, if you want to get this awesome cinematic look. I'm flattening out, and we don't have, as you can see, we do. it looks like we don't have much color information and it's kind of uh, boring but i'm gonna enable my effects i apply a lot osiris kodak red 709 and boom you can see the beautiful color how it pops out you can see here huh nice again off on as you can see, I have all the color there, so we're not losing anything. If we come here, same thing, off and on. So that's just an example. Let's look at another one. That's within on and off, on and that's on and off. And I hope you enjoyed this video and try these settings for yourself tweak it and i hope you have a good day thank you for watching